The Denver Broncos have released their final injury report heading into Sunday night football against the Minnesota Vikings, and there is good news and bad news. Starting off with the bad news, unfortunately, safety PJ Locke is going to be out for this game as he continues to deal with his ankle injury. That is absolutely going to suck for the Broncos, despite getting Kareem Jackson back this week. You've heard me say very strongly on this channel that I believe that PJ Locke should start at safety ahead of Kareem Jackson, and then we can relegate K-Jack to the dimebacker role. Now, we basically don't have a choice because I know we sure as hell aren't trotting Delarian Turner yell out there. Kareem Jackson will be the Broncos starting safety and probably isn't going to be able to get much of an opportunity to get spelled at all. So we're going to have to really depend on Kareem Jackson in this game. Not honestly too sure how I feel about that based on his recent play. So take that how you want to take it. Meanwhile, the good news here, though, is that nobody else has an injury designation for the Broncos for this game, so everybody else is going to play, including Ben Powers, who was DNP, uh, DNP on Wednesday and Thursday, but he did get a limited practice session in today, so he is good to go with his foot injury that he suffered in the Bills game, and you could definitely tell in that Bills game that Ben Powers was playing hurt. He did not look like his normal self out there whatsoever so I'm hoping that his level of play quite frankly isn't a liability out there as he plays on this foot injury because you know it's something that's still going to continue to bother him in this game so that's one thing that I definitely am going to keep an eye on outside of that you had Garrett Bowles and Samaj Piran who actually popped up on the injury report with ankle injuries on Friday but neither one of them are given an injury designation here so they're both good to go and and then full participants include Jerry Judy, Baron Browning, Marvin Mims, and Ronnie Perkins. So pretty much good news here on the injury front except for P.J. Locke. And then the Ben Powers situation is definitely going to be something to monitor just in terms of how well he plays in this game. Meanwhile, coming over here to the Minnesota Vikings side, they have two players listed as out for this game in cornerback Caleb Evans and then backup quarterback Jaron Hall. And then listed as questionable is Brian Asamoah, the edge rusher. Justin Jefferson, a big, big addition for them, would be if they could get Justin Jefferson back. There's a chance that he may require one more week, though, so that's going to be something to monitor. If the Vikings have Justin Jefferson on the field, that is obviously going to change the entire landscape for the team. Alexander Madison is going to be listed as questionable for this one as he continues to come out of the concussion protocol. They're starting running back. Nick Mullins, their backup quarterback, who I assume is going to be up for this one because they don't have another backup quarterback option outside of... Oh, wait, yeah, they do have Sean Mannion, actually. So they could, in theory, put Sean Mannion at backup quarterback, and maybe Nick Mullins won't quite be ready to go yet. But I know once Mullins is back, he will be the primary backup quarterback to Josh Dobbs. And then Chris Reed, one of their offensive linemen, also listed as questionable for this one. Another thing that I briefly wanted to touch on was Greg Dulcich because I know I've seen a little bit of chatter on Twitter what's going on with him. He still has to miss two more games because of being on injured reserve. So he's going to definitely miss this Vikings game on Sunday night as well as the Cleveland, Brown the Cleveland Browns game. But after that, I would not be surprised at all if Greg Dulcich is activated in time for our matchup on the road against a red-hot Houston Texans team that's going to be a much tougher matchup than a lot of people thought that it would be. As Greg Dulcich just continues to deal with chronic hamstring injuries, I really don't know how much the Denver Broncos are going to be able to depend on him even when he does come back, but that's a little bit of an update there on Greg Dulcich. But outside of all of that Broncos country, aside from PJ Locke, everything seems to be pretty good on the injury front for the Denver Broncos as we go into this critical critical, critical matchup on Sunday Night Football against the Minnesota Vikings. All right, Broncos country, be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. I would really appreciate it, guys. Those are two free and easy ways to show your support, helps tell YouTube's algorithm to push us out, and helps us get seen by more and more members of Broncos country just like you and me. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.